Okay, so let's look at the receiver. And then let's see what additional problems arise here on the receiver side. So on, on a superficial level, the receiver just looks quite similar to the transmitter. So first we have got our aerial here. And um, so this signal is a bandpass signal. And then this is sent into a demodulator. So it's our demodulator. And the demodulator turns this bandpass signal, which is around carrier frequency FC, turns this bandpass signal into our baseband signal here. So the baseband signal, again, two lines because it can be real imaginary, so the quadrature information. So here, at this point, we've got a stream of sort of like analog symbols, so we don't know where they start and where do they end. And so and so now we have here a detector. And the output from the detector gives us the symbols. Yeah? So here at this point then we have a stream of symbols saying this is here and detect the symbol, the symbol, um, symbol, symbol S1 and then the next one is S5 and S6. So here there are the proper symbol names coming out. And so now we just need to have a decoder. which is combining these symbols again into our digital data stream here. So the question is now which challenges arise, arise here. There are two challenges here, and I'm just giving examples because there are obviously many more, but um, these are the two main challenges. So challenge number one is extract timing information. Extract or recover. Timing info. And this is obviously there are two the two main timing inform and timing variables we need to get back is obviously FC so the carrier frequency this needs to be recovered and obviously we also need to recover T the symbol interval yeah so the symbol interval only if we now if we have the symbol interval, we are able to work out here when symbols start and end, which are arriving here. So remember, this is here. This at this point here looks like a like a stream of different different symbols, which which might might look like that that we have here some some kind of jumps and the detector. Needs to needs to know that this is here happening at um, interval t, so two t, three t, four t, but the detector obviously doesn't know where this here starts, and so and so this signal we have here, and so the, det the detector needs to make a decision and and knows that um, it's the best time to look just right here in the middle, for example, to recover our symbol name and say, okay, this is symbol number S1, this is your symbol number S5, and this is symbol number S6. So let's say this is S1, this is here S5, this is S6, and, and so on. And so we need to recover this T here, but um, 
at the same time also the demodulator here is working is working with the carrier frequency FC to recover the signal here this baseband signal and so also the FC needs to be recovered so then the second challenge is is um, also related to this block here this detector so I've drawn here just naively here these um, arrows in the middle and saying this gives us symbol 1, symbol 5, symbol 6 but this is very often non-trivial task to, to decide this is symbol 6 and not maybe symbol 5 so the other challenge is the actual detection detection of of the symbols Yeah, so so there are obviously many more the, um, challenges in this um, on the receiver side, but um, in general, these are the main challenges that we need to re extract and recover timing information, and we need to detect the symbols in a reliable way.